From heat waves in Canada and the US to floods in Europe, China and India, we are witnessing an unprecedented increase in natural disaster in recent years. The places we once thought were too big to be affected by us are changing like never before. The vast grasslands of Africa are drying while the endless ice sheets of the poles are melting at a record pace. While many climate scientists have said that we will enter a zone of no return if we don't achieve net zero emissions by 2050, the progress we have made to achieve this simply doesn't seem to be sufficient. But if there is one thing everyone agrees on, it's that countries should move away from coal and fossil fuels to cleaner and more renewable sources of energy. While this transition is inevitable, we simply don't have the technology to power our world completely with renewable energy. And so in this process, we are forgetting another already tested method of energy production. In this video, let's see some of the inefficiencies of green energy and why nuclear energy could be our way out of coal and fossil fuel, at least until green energy catches up. Over the years, solar energy has become the most popular method of producing green energy. From political campaigns to energy companies making a transition, solar panels have become the face of green energy. But there is a problem. Solar energy may not be as efficient as we previously thought it was. While the sun does produce colossal amounts of energy for almost as long as we need it, the problem lies in the distance between us and the sun. A lot of energy is lost by the time light travels almost 152 million kilometers. What we get is a diluted form of sun's energy. And that's a good thing. But it also means that we need a lot more resources to capture sun's energy. Resources like large swathes of land that belong to agriculture, forests or other revenue generating land. We could install solar panels in deserts and theoretically produce more power than we'll ever need. But there is a problem there too transportation of energy. You see, we generally transport electricity using wires. But wires tend to waste a portion of that electricity as heat and we simply don't have any viable alternative for energy transport now. Imagine transporting all the energy needed for a major city through long distances this way. Or we could just install solar panels on every rooftop and produce enough energy for that household. But as population of cities grow, Buildings will be built vertically to house more people in less land. And it's difficult to produce enough solar energy for all the inhabitants with the little area that's available. After solar, wind energy is easily the most infamous form of green energy. Many nations boast their vast wind farms scattered with majestic wind turbines. But again, wind energy has problems too. Some of the obstacles associated with wind energy are similar to solar. Just like solar panels, wind turbines also require large areas of land and wind turbines also require certain conditions to work. You see, wind turbines work best in elevated regions where wind blows constantly and in this situation also, transportation of energy becomes a problem as electricity will have to be transported from higher elevations to cities. But a more unique problem of wind energy is noise. As wind turbines produce immense noise to rotate, this creates nuisance to local communities. But a more serious problem of wind farms is killing of aerial creatures. Many predatory birds that are endangered tend to fly at high altitudes to find prey. And wind turbines can kill these birds in large numbers and sometimes even cause extinction of some species. In fact, some bat species that live in these areas have nearly gone extinct. And needless to say, without these predators, local ecosystems would be badly affected. While solar and wind energy grab more headlines, it's actually hydroelectricity that proves to be a more reliable source of energy production. Hydroelectricity also produces more energy in some regions compared to solar and wind, without much investment. But for all its advantages, even hydroelectricity has some shortcomings that prove more innovation is needed to improve this method of energy production. It should come as no surprise that hydroelectricity projects displace settlements around the rivers they are built on and drop some fishermen of their livelihood. These projects also change the local ecosystems by obstructing the movement of migratory fishes. 
While this may seem like a small price to pay for the greater good, let's not forget that these projects change the very shape of rivers and may cause adversity affecting the animals and people who depend on these rivers further downstream. It could be for irrigation or domestic purposes. This may cause tensions between nations like the recent conflict between Egypt and Sudan for Nile River. Dams also occasionally cause floods when they exceed their capacity. Floods in Henan province of China is an example. Of all the shortcomings of green energy, the most prominent problem is the inconsistency. Neither solar or wind can produce energy consistently for long periods of time due to the nature of their sources, sunlight and wind. While hydroelectricity is better, droughts and floods can result in lack or excess of energy production. While lack of these natural resources is definitely the biggest problem, excess production sometimes results in grid failures. And as we still lack the technology to store excess energy at large scale, most of this energy will either go as waste or is sold for lower prices. Another concerning aspect is the affordability of green energy. While wealthier countries have the money for infrastructure from manufacturing to setting up, underdeveloped countries simply cannot afford these large-scale projects. A growing demand due to a growing population in these countries only intensifies the problem, as neither taxpayers or the governments can afford to bear the costs of such projects. Historically, nuclear energy has been associated with disasters and accidents. Previous failures have made nuclear energy a very unpopular form of energy production. Despite all its merits, nuclear energy is overlooked and underestimated. This is ironic considering that nuclear energy has produced 11 times less carbon emissions compared to hydroelectricity, and half of the emissions generated by solar energy. While coal and other non-renewable energy sources have contributed to climate change and have caused an estimated 7 million deaths, nuclear energy has actually saved an estimated 1.8 million lives due to its drastically low emissions. Apart from less emissions, nuclear energy has another major advantage compared to green energy. Unlike solar panels and wind farms, nuclear power plants do not require deforestation or land conversions as land requirement for setting up a plant is very low. The materials needed for setting up these plants are also affordable by smaller countries as these plants produce exponentially more energy with small amounts of fuel. Moreover, nuclear plants are a lot more reliable as they have the ability to produce electricity constantly without interruptions. The only cause of concern for nuclear plants is safety. And thanks to technology, we are getting better at this every day. Right now, for us, the problem of safety is certainly more manageable compared to inconsistent sources, energy transportation, energy storage, or even cost. With every new invention, our civilization has been moving away from matter-dense sources to energy-dense sources. It started with our ancestors using wood to generate fire and heat. Then we progressed to coal, where we could produce more energy with less matter. Today we have nuclear energy. There is no question that uranium is more energy-dense than wood. But in our effort to generate energy without a finite fuel, we may be skipping a step, and this may be doing more harm to us than good. We simply do not have the time to keep experimenting on developing technologies with the little time we have left. Green energy in its current form cannot power the entire planet and fulfill all our energy needs. So while this technology catches up, nuclear energy is a viable alternative. It may not be perfect, nor is it renewable, but is the best alternative we have for a very serious problem. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching the video, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.